Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, or welcome if you're new. My name is Katie and I'm a stay-at-home mom of four. I also run an Etsy shop, Purple Glimmer Budgets, which is where you'll find a lot of the products that I'm going to use in today's video. My husband and I are on our journey to pay off a lot of our high interest debt using the cash stuffing method as a way to control our spending in various categories. If this is something you'd like to follow along, just keep watching. video I'm going to be cash stuffing for paycheck number two of December so let's go ahead and start by counting this cash One, two, fifty-three, Ten, twenty, ten, twenty, thirty, forty, fifty, nine, ten, twenty, thirty, five, forty, forty-five. So nine hundred and forty-five dollars. So let's go ahead and get this organized. Okay. Hopefully, I didn't mix up any denominations there, but we'll find out as we get stuffing. Okay, let's get started by stuffing my purple wallet. This is my weekly spending money. So the first category is gas and it's going to get 50. So I did that in two 20s and a 10. And I think, yep, I spent out of all of it last week. So $50 in there in total. And then groceries is getting its normal 200. I usually do that in a 100. And then two 50s. And then eating out, I currently have been stuffing 150 and it is empty. This is by far the hardest category I've had to try and tackle as far as controlling our spending. So I'm definitely a work in progress. Um, it does tend to empty out almost every week and then some. And then spending, I'm gonna give myself $50. I did that as two 20s and a 10. I think there might be a little money still left in here. Let's get that counted. So. The money facing all the same way. 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 90, 1, 2. 70, 80, 90, 1, 2. So I have 92 dollars in spending. That's actually pretty good and I'm probably going to need it. I find that um, we tend to spend a lot in eating out, uh, especially towards the end of the year with the holidays. There's a lot of stuff going on and so we find ourselves out at restaurants quite often. So my backup envelope to eating out is typically the spending envelope. And then uh, my other backup is my miscellaneous. I give myself a $10 buffer. And I used all of that last week. And so I'm gonna go ahead and put another 10 in there. So that's everything in my weekly spending wallet. Now let's move on to my pink wallet. This is my higher priority sinking funds. And this one's gonna be a little bit interesting because when I went to the bank to try and get my denominations out, I realized that I messed up my cash planning worksheet quite a bit. I did not do the math correctly because I basically repurposed a lot of the money that I unstuffed last week. So that way I didn't have to go deposit that in the bank and then get it back out. And so when I was doing that, I ignored all the fives that I needed. So I didn't end up with any extra fives that I needed to get. And then I also noticed that I, when I went to put in the budget for clothing, and I put the amount of um, 20s I needed in my 10s column, so I didn't get it quite enough there. Luckily, I also got cash out for my 52 envelope savings challenge, so I stole the 20s from there, so I'll have to go back to the bank and get the correct 20s there, and then you'll see later on how I'm kind of handling the fives. I also stole fives from that as well, so um, it's going to be a little bit of a mess possibly because I need to remember how I made things work with the cash that I have. So anyways, let's move on with personal care. I decided to stuff 15. So 10 and a five, let's see here. So it currently has 20, 35, 
six, seven, eight, nine. So thirty-nine dollars. That's good. And then household, I did thirty. I did that as a twenty and a ten. So in household, I have twenty, forty, sixty. $71. And then in clothing, I did 100, 20, 40, 60, 81. And then let's see what we have in here. So 20, 40, 60, 81, 21, 2, 3, 123 in clothing. Um, as you know from previous videos, I've done some decent amount of stacking up for clothes for the winter for my kids so that's um, a good build up I'm probably gonna add some more there because we're probably gonna be getting into buying some of the warmer type of clothing here because I know that their st stores are starting to get that so I want to make sure I don't get into the same situation that I got in when I was buying the winter clothes and having to write myself IOUs I want to try and make sure I have the cash on hand for it to unstuff as soon as I spent the money um it also helps that Christmas is coming up so some of the additional um clothing that I would have been purchasing I'm actually holding over for Christmas so that's going to come out of the Christmas budget um, that we have saved up for last year or that we've been saving for this Christmas and then the next one is kids and I did that in three for 60 so 320s let's see what's in here so $100 placeholder 20 40 60 70 for kids. We'll probably be using this envelope um, later this week. My kids want to go see Christmas lights again. Um, another area. Um, there's a lot of displays in the area. So we've actually gone to the one that they want to go back to. Um, but they also have like camel rides there and petting zoo. But it's cheaper on Tuesdays because that's their family night. So I think we're going to go tomorrow, which is Tuesday. Um, and save a little bit of money and let them ride camels and such. So that is if they behave. They've been told that they have to behave because they've been a little bit crazy lately. So moving on to pet care. Pet care I'm giving 20. So I have 20, 40, 60, 80. That's good there. I do know that we're going to have to buy some dog food here soon. We just went to Sam's and my husband's like, we don't have to get it this time, but we're definitely going to need it next time. That's where we try to buy our dog's food from. We have two large dogs, so they do eat a decent amount of food. And then car maintenance, I believe I have 10 that I'm putting in here. So 50, 60, $2. Not bad. Now um, I might end up having to put a bunch of um, my, as I was talking before when I was at the clothing, I have um, a savings challenge that I'm doing. It's actually a yearly savings challenge. I started it mid-year, so once I finish it up by stuffing it for December, I'm actually gonna unstuff it and reallocate it across these wallets. So I definitely gonna put some in the clothing and then I think I might do car maintenance. We typically don't have a lot of car maintenance needs, but I do know that my husband's Explorer needs tires. So I'm gonna beef this envelope up there too, cause tires are not cheap. And then lawn care. So this is where I get to get a little creative cause I know that lawn care has a five. So I wanted to stuff a five in there, but I don't have enough fives. So I'm going to put this five here and I'm going to take a 10. So it currently has 130. And then that gives me the five that I'm going to need to stuff in this next envelope, which is Amazon. Um, actually, no, I was stuffing more than $5 there. I meant to stuff 25. See, I knew I was going to confuse myself here. So Amazon actually has... 100, 20, 40, 50. Lawn care has 150. And then I'm Amazon won't have the same because I forgot that I did actually um, end up unstuffing there. So I had been stuffing the same amounts in these two envelopes. So they were running pretty much the same. So um, that's where the confusion came. So lawn care has 150. And then Amazon's going to get 25. So 20 and a 5. And then move the higher denomination up 50, 70. 90, 110, 115 in Amazon. Cause I took, I wanna say 135 out of it last week, 
um, for some jewelry that I bought for my daughters for Christmas. Well, it's Christmas themed. They have them already. Um, so I took that out of Amazon because that's where I purchased it from. And then we're going to move on to our lower priority simping funds. And then for car tags, I normally put seven in here. This week I wanted to put five just because I didn't really want to have a bunch of ones. So 20, 35, 40. So next week I might go ahead and throw a 10 in there to kind of balance out only putting in five this week. And then memberships is getting a 10. So I currently have 60. And then birthdays. Okay. Put in 60, 20, 40, 60. Let's see what we have in here. We have 20, 40, 60, 80, and then 50 would be 135, 6, 7, 8. So 138 plus 100, so 238 in birthdays, which that's a good amount because. I have a feeling that next week this is all going to be drained and maybe then some because that is when my daughter's party is going to be. Actually, it's it's this weekend actually, so we're going to be using that pretty quickly. And then Christmas is getting 30, so a 20 and a 10, so we have 150. 70, 80, so 180 for Christmas, that's for next year. Um, basically the 52 envelope challenge is what I'm going to be using as our Christmas fund for this year. So I'm about six envelopes away from completing that. So I'll definitely have it completed um, by the time Christmas rolls around, or at least that's my hope. And then I can go ahead and add everything up that we spent for Christmas and subtract it from there. If there's anything left over, I'll go ahead and roll it into this envelope as well. Um, if we overspent, then I will figure out what other categories to get it from or rent myself an IU or we'll figure it out when that happens. But we've been trying to rein it in for this Christmas, so I think we'll be okay. So for vacations, I am putting in 60, 20, 40, 60. And so vacations currently has 100 and 50. 70, 90, 110, 11, 12. So 212 in vacations. And then gifts is going to get 25. And then we currently have. 20, 45, 50, 150 in gifts. I'm gonna have to either steal from this or the Christmas envelope, I'm not sure. I know my husband has to put in for his boss's Christmas gift. So I gotta figure out which envelope I'm gonna take it from or if I'll just count it against our Christmas savings or how I wanna handle that. I just know that he wants the cash here soon. So I'm gonna need to get it from one of these. And then subscriptions is getting a 10, so I have $60 in subscriptions. So. That is everything and I used up all my cash so I could have very easily confused myself so it looks like I didn't confuse myself that bad to mess up that horribly so I hope you enjoyed this cash stuffing thank you so much for taking time out of your day to watch my channel and support it I really appreciate that if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing also drop me a comment down below how's your budget going for the holidays have you been able to stick to it have you found yourself splurging a little too much what have you done to kind of control your expenses? Thank you again for watching so much. I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys.